Hello everyone, my name is Ali. I'm a technical marketing engineer with Cisco. In this video, I'm going to talk about the embedded wireless controller provisioning through Cisco Catalyst Wireless app. To provision your embedded wireless controller, you have to set up a controller for you bring it up. The EWC access point, when it's coming up, it will start broadcasting as a society called Cisco Air Provision. Uh, for the mobile app, it is available on both Google Play Store and Apple App Store. In my previous video, I showcased the web UI provisioning. Now in this video, I'm going to talk about the Cisco wireless app provisioning. So if you go to the App Store, you can download this app, Cisco Catalyst Wireless. So download, open it. You can do continue. So you have two options. You can set up the wireless network and you can do manual provisioning or do scan QR code. First, I'm going to do manual provisioning. So you have to connect to the SSID. As I said, Cisco Air Provision SSID with the last four digits of the MAC address of the access point. Uh, the password is password. Simple PSK. Once it's connected, it will give you an IP address. Uh, if you have set up a, D a DHCP, here I'm getting an IP address from a DHCP server. If you don't have a DHCP server, the AP can automatically uh, run a DHCP itself. And you get an IP address from there. Now we're just continuing to provision. Already connected to SSID. Now this is the uh, first login page. You have to use the default login, which is called Web UI, and the password is Cisco. Now this is for security reasons, we have that available. Once you log in, it will go to your wizard. EWC configuration wizard is very simple and intuitive. A country code is automatically selected through AP domain. A management account is your username password. You know, configure. Uh, IP configuration is your management IP address. Wireless management IP address. It is uh, automatically selected to DHCP, but you can statically assign it as well. You have to configure a WLAN. I'm configuring one employee, which is can be your uh, PSK, which is personal enterprise, meaning AAA or a radius is required. But I'm just configuring a proportional society here for the demo. Now, once you configure it, you can always deploy, but uh, we are going to Go forward and this is a manual configuration and I'm going to showcase the QR configuration as well how to configure through a QR code which is also an option available on your mobile app to scan the QR code on the back of your access point once you scan it it will automatically connect to the SSID the square provision with the last village MAC address and this is your Login username password, which we talked about earlier. Then again, this configuration wizard, just uh, same configuration we did in the earlier phase. The only difference we're showcasing is that you scan your QR code, it only gives you the option to directly connect to the square provision. Now, again, same option for IP uh, wireless network management IP address is DSCP. You can statically assign it as well. Uh, over here, I'm configuring the employee SSID again with the PSK. Uh, you can do the option to have it as an enterprise of AAA as well. Now to add another SSID, you need to click on the plus sign on right side. It's and then you can select another SSID if you want to configure it over here. I'm configuring guest and selecting guest option, which is a consent. And then you just click on deploy. Once you have deployed, it goes uh, do a cap app reset and the society will start broadcasting. Let's give you an option to name your uh, network so for later it remembers it and you can uh, connect to it and do a day one configuration basically. So here you can see employee manage networks is employee and if I click on it we'll try to connect to it and when I click join we'll try to join that society and Click on let's get started. It will be presenting me the login page with the username and password, which we configured in the uh, day zero visit. With the same username password, you configured to log in. Uh, once you log in, it will give me a dashboard, a summary dashboard of WLAN access point, wireless client roles and interferers. I put the on a WLAN for example and I'll see that we have the employee and guest SSID which we created. 
Now we have a different dash, but we go dash but again if we click on access points or AP. You will see we have active and standby automatically configured. Uh, active in green, standby in blue. No manual intervention of creating those active standby. It automatically selected. Now if I click on the applications, I can see you know, I've already connected to the employee society, so I can see the different applications running in my network. So, so not only we can monitor the plans, we can also uh, change the parameters, we can edit it, we can add them. For example, here, uh, guest line, I can uh, change the radio settings. Right now it's uh, broadcasting 2.4 and 5. We can just do it for uh, 5 gigahertz which is 11a and also you can maybe if you want to disable the status you can just uh, disable the status with a VLAN as well also we can add a VLAN by clicking on the plus sign and you can name your WLAN like book name I'm here just giving a BYOD and you can choose employee or guest uh, it's employee and also security settings again I'm just using here as a one x enterprise so you have to configure a AAA server or radius IP address port number and share secret once you do that you can create a WLAN so as you can see it's embedded wireless controller app this cashless wireless app is not only for day zero provisioning or monitoring it can also do your day in uh, provisioning creating a society, changing AP name, or resetting access point, all those things can be done through the app. Uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Cisco WLAN channel for updated videos. Thank you.